So I might have, uh, you know, been awake, not on purpose, uh, when Amazon dropped the Fallout series. So, you know, because I was kind of awake, I decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and, you know, stay up and watch it. You know, like the first episode, right? Mm. Like that's, you know, that's okay, right? And that's what I did. I watched the first episode. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the first episode. I didn't continue. I mean, I did. Uh, okay, I'm going to spoil it. Episode two starts out with dog meat. Um. That's all the spoilers you're going to be getting in this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. Right, so other than spoiling you when Dogmeat shows up, because we all know that he does, that is all the spoilers you will be getting in this video. Now, beyond the first couple of, you know, seconds of episode two, I have only watched episode one. It was like 4.40 a.m. in the morning when that episode finally finished for me. And, you know, I was definitely needing some sleep. But overall, I really enjoyed episode one. And since I only watched episode one, that is all I'm going to be talking about, right? I will be making more videos about this. If it continues up like this, I might actually do a video after each episode because I love it. It's fun. It's great. It's like beyond my expectations. And granted, my expectations were pretty damn low. Last night going in, I was like... All right, I'll give since I'm awake, I'll give it episode one. You know, I'll check it out. And at the beginning, I didn't know what to think about the episode, about the series overall. The dialogue was so cringe in that very moment. Now, that being said. After thinking about it, the cringe dialogue makes a lot of sense. These people have been living in the vault for over 200 years. So, the cringe is alright, but as soon as the action begins, you will forget about the cringe, you will forgive it, and you will be like, holy cow. Trust me on that one. Like, I, I, I look, I'm not trying to be overhyped for this, but I did enjoy this episode. Now, will it keep up with that? Will episode two be as good as episode one? Will the rest of the series be an overall win for Amazon? I cannot tell you that yet. But looking at this from episode one, just purely based off of episode one, I enjoyed it and I'm hyped for it. I'm invested. I am looking forward to it. I'm actually looking forward to it. That's something I did not believe that I would do. So, for me, all of this fits. Now, I've seen people already go out and gripe about stuff. It's like, she's a Mary Suit. No. The main protagonist is not a Mary Sue. She gets hurt. She needs saving at least twice. She's just trying to do the good thing. Now, there are bits and pieces where I'm like, really? You know, when it comes to how should I put it? Sexuality in it. It's kind of, I mean, it's things that I have not seen in the game really being talked about. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like, yeah, I guess that would be. Yeah. I mean, you'd all be related after 200 years in that vault. Kind of, you know, could get kind of strange there with cousins and stuff. So I will say it was, you know, I'll, that's the only spoiler I'm going to be giving you. Um, but it works out. 
Uh, I haven't seen, you know, in the games it being tackled from that perspective, but honestly, I'm okay with it. And I just. It looks great. It feels like Fallout. It feels like the games. Lucy, the main protagonist, absolutely fantastic. I absolutely fell in love with her. She's great in this role. Um, and it feels like, you, you know, it could be the character that you are playing. And look, just yesterday I was dunking on the female protagonist of Star Wars uh, Outlaws. Today I'm telling you, this is a great fit. They did a great job choosing Lucy for this game. Like, honestly, there's no denying it in my mind. The, you know, we all know that the Brotherhood of Steel is going to be a part of it. I absolutely love the character. There is so much depth in every character that they show you. And yes, you have three main protagonists. And there is a lot of depth. They go into it. They give you their backstory. They give you the story moving forward, how it's going to progress. It's it's so it's done so greatly. I can't believe it, to be honest, that it that it's this good or that I'm enjoying it this much or that I'm excited for it. Like, honestly, I, I if you we're waiting to see what people think about this. Trust me, it's great. Now, I know there are people out there who are already dunking on it, and it's people also in our sphere. It's like, Jesus, criminy. It's like, come on, give the show a chance. And everyone who I've seen dunk on this episode, on this show, didn't actually watch the show. And they've admitted that they have never played the games but even at that I think even if you haven't played the games you will enjoy this just have fun with it honestly so I mean give it a chance at least at the very least all right I am looking forward to episode two of this show I'm after I've created this video after I put it out it might come out a little bit later. I will be continuing the episode two. I'm enjoying it. So let me know down in the comments below if you're interested in checking this show out after my video or if you've already started watching it, what you think about episode one. We can definitely get into spoilers later on. I'm not sure if I'm going to make ev a video for every episode. But I will be reviewing the entire show and we probably will be talking about the entire show on streams multiple times, possibly. So let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. And hey, if you like this video, smash that like button, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications, because that is the way that YouTube knows that you are actually interested in getting my videos. Thank you. And until then. Take care.